It's a little bit of discipline here in the kitchen from Chef Zozo, hand. eh? He was out of hand. He was hitting me with his apron. I said, don't hit me, I will hit you back. You and don't I did. mess with the Zola. Don't mess with me. We should know this by now, all right? But you know what? It's Wednesdays are my favorite because I always get to be spoiled with authentic Thai cuisine. And I mean, just look at these dishes in front I of know, me. They are hey? absolutely mouth-watering. You know what? But what we're going to be doing this morning is we're going to be taking a look at some of the ingredients that makes these dishes from Simply Asa so authentic Thai. Okay. Exactly. So we're looking at the authentically Thai ingredients yes. that do consist in those dishes. So we're going to start here with lemongrass. One of my favorites. One of my favorites too. It's very fragrant. That's it's obviously it. in the grass family. It is a grass. It has a very citrus flavor. Yeah. Um, if you can't find lemongrass, you can usually substitute with lime zest. Yeah. It's sort of got the same citrus um, fragrance. Um, you use it either bashed up and then put whole into things to flavor it and uh, it. like aromatize it. Or yeah. you sort of peel away all the little layers and then you get to the core, which is much softer. That's you it. chop it finely and then you can use it in And it goes in great dishes. together with seafood. It's it does. As well. it does. So, so if you want to try the lemongrass, you can just uh, on the Simply Asian menu, number 622, the Tom Young Prawn Linguini. All right, that is Look this how one right Exactly. Yes. Oh, man, absolutely delicious. Right. Okay, now, so the next one is an interesting one because I've learned about this ingredient in Thailand. It's called galangal, but you say different. I say galangal. Galangal. Yeah, that's galangal. how I was taught in Thailand, but is obviously it? your teacher was different to my teacher. Do you know? Okay, so Tomato, this, is, this is what galangal looks like. This is the pickled variety. So we yes. struggle a lot to find it here. Yes. Um, but you can get a pickled in like your Chinese supermarket or Asian supermarket. That's if it. you can't find galangal, which is um, like a milder form of ginger. Yeah. It's much more fragrant and much milder yeah. in taste. So you actually tend to use more. Um, so if you can't find a pickled, you can substitute ginger, just fresh ginger. Obviously, you're going to use a little less because it's more peppery and more yes. fiery. But okay. very interesting, I mean, if you take a look at, I mean, there's over 400 varieties of ginger. Can you believe Thailand. it? 400. I thought, I thought I knew Yeah, one. I thought I knew that one and that one. And that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> so, but you, the, 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 the galangal you can find in the number 532 fried yellow noodles with Thai herbs. That's the exact menu on the dish that you can try that in. Then the next one is also a, a, a firm cooking favorite of mine, specifically, specifically when it comes to curries. Yes, it All is right? a distinctive Thai yes. flavor when it comes to curries. We're talking about coconut milk or coconut cream. So we've that's got it. coconut cream here and coconut milk. Um, they're from the same fruit, obviously, the coconut what they do is actually they grate the coconut and the first squeezing is actually what coconut cream is All so they right. grate it really fine then they squeeze it and that's coconut cream then they dip what's been squeezed already into water and they squeeze it again and that's what you get coconut milk from I see. so it's two different degrees of the same yeah. thing um, when you shake a coconut you know you can hear the liquid that is not coconut milk that's coconut water that's a that's clear it. liquid that's it that's it okay, okay. Cool. so try it in three one five the butternut curry look at this this oh, is one of my favorite by I the way i think that's my breakfast today that's your breakfast yeah really Shut I was going to go for that. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we have our palm sugar, yes. also true authentic Thai ingredients. It is. Um, so this is what they use in, as a sweetener for you know yeah. Thai dishes because it's all about balance, like we spoke about um, a few weeks ago. Um, so this is made from the sap of, of palms. Yes. And um, they reduce, they boil it down and reduce it, and then you know, the water gets evaporated mm. and then obviously it cakes up. You can get it in like a softer form, you can get it in rock yeah. form. You can either grate it or I like to bash it in a pestle yeah. and mortar before using it. And it's got like a really caramelly flavor. It's, it's, it's a little delicious. more complex than, yeah. than regular white sugar. So if you can't find that, you can substitute something like demerara sugar or muscovado sugar. Okay. It'll give you the same sort of... Did you eat um, it just like that before? I, I love it. It's, I love it, it's delicious. It's really as beautiful as it goes as well, exactly. <laughs> so try it in number two, six, seven on the menu, the roasted chili tamarind duck. And this is this one right over here mouth watering Delicious indeed. Looking. But the great thing about all of these ingredients is, you know what, that all of the Simply Asia ingredients are sourced from Thailand besides I love obviously that. their meat, their fish, their vegetables. Yeah. You know, so it's authentic. So, so you know really that authentic. when you're eating at Simply Asia, you're eating authentic Thai flavors, which That's is That's what we're fantastic. going for, authentic Thai dishes. Ola, you like a walking encyclopedia when it comes to these things. I try, so, you know, I try. Because we have a love for Thailand, exactly. Okay. But on top of everything else, remember, Simply Asia is proud to say that they have a, a very loyal family, uh, family of customers, and it's because of this that they give back to their customers with the Simply Asia Star Card. The Star Card is a loyalty program which gives you 5% of your bill credited to your card in the form of star points every time you spend at any Simply Asia store. And then you can grab your Star Card at any Simply Asia store across the country. It's absolutely free as oh, yes. well. Do you have one? I do. Good for you. I took you the too. one that you remember last time. There you was took, one. I was like, mine. You just took that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So there you have it. This is how you get authentic Thai. So next time you want to cook some Thai for yourself, maybe you can remember these ingredients as well. Yes. Thank you. Zozo. Oh, Appreciate it. Yeah, don't, 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 don't. No disciplining <laughs> going on here. But yeah, I'm very, very excited because who knows? Who's in studio? Yes. <gasps> PJ Powers is here. She's performed for us awesome. earlier. Yes, exactly. And uh, she's going to be doing all over again. Alana, I know you're super excited.
Did you know at Simply Asia you can choose your Red Star hotness level? Mild, medium, or hot, or Thai style. You decide. Simply Asia. Authentic Thai made simple.